I have noticed you uh, like yani because many people like to go, become famous and uh, you know get into that limelight and spotlights and everything but when i uh, we have seen you always and you know, being becoming very simple grounding yourself and keeping it simple not going too much yani and you giving it out when it is required and when you have it you giving it out and you're not taking like any too much of attraction or mm. or trying to fake it mm. so why do you do that yani yeah? and why do you step back and keep it simple yani yeah? what's the reason yeah so um you know when we start started our project with falak and all this everything was very active and we were very full of energy and vision and you know changing the world and yeah, helping yeah, the community yeah, yeah. right there was a lot of energy mashallah a lot of videos and content yeah, yeah. coming out and that was a you know an interesting and necessary phase it was a phase also a good phase yeah. uh we learned a lot we produced a lot yeah. created a big network worldwide mashallah you know mm. but then you know i realized that sometimes you know you need to balance activity with uh stillness you know if that balance is not there then sometimes you can actually go off track mm. the intention can go off track yeah this uh self check can sometimes be overlooked mm. too much speed is actually Dangerous. deadly yeah yeah so i i felt that we were going at an accelerating pa- pace yeah. if you remember right yeah yeah like this yeah and i realized that um, and allah makes subhanallah things happen that force you sometimes to Come slow on. down mm. yes you remember the circumstances right um so when i saw that happening i was like this is a sign that slow down right slow down yeah and in fact it wasn't a slow down it was like come back and go into a cave recheck yeah i felt like it was me going into the cave you know surah al-kahf yeah the young boy is going into the cave mm. Mm. i really felt that i needed that cave to go in just away from everybody and it reminds me of ghazali's life also yeah. right imam ghazali yeah. because yeah. he was at the peak of his scholarship yes. in baghdad yes. and everyone used to look up sharing, to him sharing and sharing sharing yeah, yeah. yeah lots of knowledge i mean at the peak yes. right but even then you know again i'm not comparing myself astaghfirullah to ghazali i'm not nothing like him but it's a similar but, yeah. idea of um retreating you know and yeah and going within because i felt that okay we were i was trying to master the science of mindset and vision and you know positive thinking and mm. achieving. it was going more of external exactly and the balance of internal was going off track right and so um thanks to people like Sadatullah Khan yeah. and, you know others who remind you of going back within and focusing within that was extremely crucial but what i you know what i noticed about the internal mm. it cannot be learned through books you know you can get it's some different experience it's yeah. a different it's a, the heart is a different uh, world or different world yeah mind you can read lots of books yeah. you can grow rich and you yes. know tony robbins and all this but the heart is a different and very special and delicate science altogether so that's so that phase of retreating was my phase of exploring uh, the spiritual sciences of the heart mm-hmm. and you know mm-hmm. uh, purification of the heart and uh, really going within and reflecting on intention and uh, these subtle muraqaba they call it yeah. right yeah and you know uh, allah blessed me to find a, a, a spiritual master who, who will teach me this because again like i told you you cannot read this in books this yes. has to be taught heart to heart and this has happened all throughout tradition mm-hmm. right? so that is really the reason of me kind of retreating a bit because i felt that i needed to have that balance see without balance life can become very dangerous you know too much activity 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 and hard work and this can lead to destruction right cuz the niya gets True. messed up so that balance of external internal is extremely important and the opposite is also true people who go too internal and then they become non productive they become mm-hmm. they completely detach themselves from the world and they become like you know the dunya is all distraction and yeah, just, just leave yeah. leave everything read quran do dhikr make dua alhamdulillah i will go in the grave and for me it's very selfish yani yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. so that's a deception shaitan is yeah, yeah. Master, of yeah. Yeah. master of deception right so it's that balance of both that really um, and that's the sign of a good master a good spiritual master will give you that balance 